Hi, this video is going to be about accordion repair, specifically attaching one of your accordion keys to its pallet. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is my accordion, and unfortunately, this is where all the buttons are that you push and then on an arm they're attached to the pallet and when you push a button it raises over the hole that's how the wind goes through this one is broken as you can see that waxy type stuff that attaches Let that thing focus yeah. all the where the metal arm is attached to the pallet it's held there by some sort of a wax on all these keys like this one working fine but this one that wax stuff just must have got all too brittle and broke so I'm gonna try to re-wax that and I should say right now I'm not an accordion repair person in fact I don't even know how to play the accordion yet I bought this thing at a thrift store and a couple days later this thing broke so I might be wrong on some things unfortunately there's no other videos or instructions on how to do this repair that I could find so I'm gonna do it the best way that I can think of and you in the comments below please if you know better please suggest what you would have done instead so anyone else watching this video can learn the proper way so I'm gonna take this I think the proper way to do it, if you knew what you were doing, would be to take this key right off. Each of these keys can be taken off. There's like a rod in here holding all the keys in. And you can pull the rod out and take that key out. And then you can work on it in isolation of all the other keys. But uh, I'm just too scared to do that, quite frankly. I've seen some YouTube videos doing that, and it looks like you need some expertise. And I've never even played this thing. So I'm just going to try my best to keep... I'm going to keep it all together. I'm just going to use a little bendy thing to attach the wax on there and just be careful to try to not get wax and everything else. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've just cleaned off the old chipped wax off of the metal arm and off of the plastic pallet there. To do that, I just removed the pallet and did that. And now I'm ready to add some wax to try to reattach that metal arm to the pallet. What I've done is I've just put a little surgery apron of a cereal box over top of all of the other pallets to make sure I don't drip wax on it or just mess it up somehow. Just use some painter's tape to attach that. And I had a couple of beers. So now we're ready for accordion repair. I've got a beeswax candle here. And uh, I'd read somewhere on Reddit or something that beeswax is one of the things people recommend. People said don't use super glue, I forget why. So I'm going to try to use this bent paper clip as the applicator to dip in, get some melted beeswax, and juck it in to the plastic uh, pallet, and then just keep on reapplying more and more melted beeswax until it looks kind of like those other pallet waxes. I tested it before just on an old stick like a goldenrod reed onto some cardboard and it worked pretty well. Okay, so we'll see how it goes. I'm anticipating it going slowly but I'd rather do lots of layers of, uh, of wax then try to apply it on too thick. Okay, so the paper clip thing was a failure. That was so slow that it was just hardening up along the way. So what I did is I've, I'm using a little Phillips screwdriver right now, the kind you use to fix glasses and stuff because it's nice and small but that 
Phillips end kind of retains the beeswax, kind of like one of those honey dispensers you see on the commercials. So, I think, I think it might be going okay. I found a, a key is that you got to be able to, the applicator you're using to transfer the wax onto the place where you're putting it, it seems to be good to have it metal because you want to be able to heat it up periodically as the wax accumulates on it so you want to be able to rub it over the flame a little bit to get that excess wax off I'm sure there's some accordion repair people out right now who are giving me a thumbs down because this is not what they would do. That's cool. Just tell me what you should do so that the next people, maybe it will be me again, can figure what you're supposed to do. Sorry. way more wax than the other palettes have, but I'm going to try pushing that down while it's still soft. I'd rather have too much than too little. pretty. That's okay. It smells really nice. I'm not going to test it until it gets all dry. But I'm optimistic that it'll work. I'm giving that I'm giving that a 75% chance of working. I'll roll the video again after it's dried and we'll test out the key. And I let the wax dry overnight. I'll show it up. Oop. Where is it? It's over here. I don't know if you can see that so well. But it looks just like it did yesterday. And it works. That is the sound of success. Hopefully it stays working all this time, and uh, I'll I'll post in the note in the comments below if it cracks after some time. But otherwise, I'm on this a success. I'd recommend doing it. Uh, I think the beeswax. I was a little worried that there's my bad that uh, because it was kind of hardening up as I kept kept applying it, I was worried it would kind of be heterogeneous and and keep breaking and stuff. But the beeswax is kind of sticky. I'd recommend using beeswax instead of any other kind of wax. There we go. All right. You want to say bye, Eric? Right. Bye. bye. Don't say bye. You want to say bye, Jason? Bye. 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 You want to say bye, Reed? Bye. bye. I'll say bye then. Yeah, you want to say bye? Bye. 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 Bye.